Hey everybody, Dakota Hunter with Millspec Liner. We are at a new dealer install and I'm gonna show you guys some of our standard operating procedures for the Greyco EXP2. All right, let's get started. Let's go ahead and kick on our machine. It's gonna go through a loading screen, take about 10 seconds. Uh, today we're using a Graco EXP2, phenomenal machine, lots of diagnostics, lots of troubleshooting features, strong pumps, strong heaters, overall great machine. All right, our loading screen's done, boom. So when is the brand new set of our MSO311, we suggest mixing for 30 minutes. A great timer to use is actually gonna be our hose heat. So you can see we have our A, our B, and our hose heaters. Our target temperature is 155 degrees for all three of those. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna give our hose heater a head start because that one takes the longest. It's gonna take about 30 minutes for that to heat up to 155 degrees in the morning. So now that's heating, let's go ahead and come over to our, our resin drum. We're gonna fire up this agitator, but before I'm gonna throw in a drop or two of air tool oil to help the longevity of your agitator. All right, kick this thing on to about half speed, get it going. All right, now your hose heat is going, climbing up to 155 degrees. You're agitating your resin drum. Now we have about 20 to 30 minutes to go ahead and start our project. And so let's go ahead and get started on our first truck of the day. All right, so after about, uh, about 30 minutes of prep on the vehicle, our drum has mixed long enough and our hose temp is at 155 degrees. So at this point, we can go ahead and start the recirculation process to begin heating up our drums. All right, to start that, we're gonna go ahead and shut down this air agitator. We're gonna go ahead and hook up our stick pumps. Boom, drop it air to oil, just like the agitator. Okay, now we're gonna follow this little cheat sheet that we have down here. You can see it says recirculation or it's in spray mode. So recirculation is the hands flipped out, spray mode is the hands flipped forward like they are right now. We're gonna go ahead and flip these out. And you can see that the stick pumps are chiming. We can go ahead and kick on our A and our B heaters. We're shooting for the temperature of 155 degrees. Right now, the material is moving from the drums into the machine, back into the drums, just in a constant loop. We're trying to get these drums to 85 degrees, above 85 degrees. So there are temperature inlet sensors right here um, that sh show what the temperature is of the material being received by the machine. Um, I do suggest getting a laser temp gun to be able to verify that and just double check it. So go ahead and scan down here. It says it's uh, about 70 degrees. So we have a little bit of time. We just want to get it north of 85. We'll check back on it in a few minutes. We can go ahead at this point. We can continue prepping, finish the last minute things on our project. And then at that point, we can pressurize and be ready to spray. All right, so we finished prepping up our vehicle. We got everything wiped down. We're ready to rock and roll. So now we go ahead and go ahead and check the uh, drum temperatures. Perfect, just over 100, just over 100. So we're north of that 85 degrees that we're looking for, so we should be good to go. At that point, we're gonna go ahead and come down here again. We're going to take it from recirculation mode and go ahead and flip it into spray mode. You'll notice that the pump stopped chiming. At that point, we're gonna go ahead and pressurize up for 2,500 PSI. That is the recommended pressure for the MSO311 product we're spraying today. 
All right, top right button. She's pressurized up. We're within 200 pounds to start out. So at that point, we're ready to go ahead and turn on the valves for the gun and get to spraying. We're gonna go through gun startup. This is a Graco Fusion PC. Uh, it is an air purge, so the important thing is making sure that the first thing on and the last thing off is always the air. So we're gonna go ahead and kick on our air here. This will help purge any of the material that's sitting inside the gun uh, in between sprays and things like that. All right, now take your nut driver. I suggest that you use just your fingertips. None of this stuff needs to be bared down on. You don't wanna break the little nylon washer that's inside this fluid shutoff valve. Um, so be gentle with it. You don't have to bear down anything. So let's go ahead and open this up. Just be mindful. You're looking for any leaks in between the uh, manifold and uh, the face of the gun. Boom. Boom. Okay, at this point, we are ready to rock and roll with the suit up and start spraying. Okay, so we're done spraying. Time to go ahead and shut down the gun. First off, make sure your safety's on. In and to the right, safety's on. Now we can go ahead, close our valves. Close my A valve. Close my B valve. Set. Again, don't bear down on anything. Doesn't, you, you worry about snapping that little nylon washer that's in there. We don't wanna crack that and start things leaking. So now let's go ahead and drill the gun. I like to put the gun between my legs right here so that way it's nice and secure. That way I don't possibly snap one of the drill bits while I'm trying to drill it out. All right, one hand guiding and one hand is drilling. Boom. Okay, if you meet a lot of resistance, don't try to just power through it. You can snap these bits off and it's very hard to get them out of the mixing chamber. So if you meet some resistance, just do a little bit at a time and work your way through it. Okay, now we'll remove the grease cap. Same nut driver you use to open and close your valves. Set that over here. We don't need a lot of grease, just one or two shots through it be all you need. There. Okay. Replace the cap. We're good. Now, we're ready to go ahead and shut off the air. Air shut off. And as a precaution, I like to take a little bit of grease and put it over the end of the uh, mixing chamber, just so that way in the, uh, over the weekend and things like that, air doesn't seep back into the mixing chamber and possibly cause any type of uh, setup of the product. So we're done. We can go ahead and put our gun on our rack, make sure our machine shut down, and then we're done for the day. So we're done spraying the truck and we're done for the day. So we're gonna go ahead and shut down the machine. To start off, we're gonna go ahead and disengage the pumps. Go from green to blue. Now we're gonna go ahead and release our pressure. You'll notice the stick pumps start going again because we're in recirculation mode. Now what we're gonna do, since it's the end of the day, we're gonna go ahead and put the machine into park mode. At that point, we're gonna go up to this top right button. It says P on it, park. We're gonna go ahead and hit this. And then we're gonna visually watch the B-side displacement pump make its rotation 
and it'll sit at the bottom of its stroke. Boom, at the very bottom now. At that point, we can go ahead and turn the machine back into spray mode so the stick pumps stop chiming. And at that point, we can go ahead and shut down our A, our B, and our hose heat. We can go ahead and turn off the main screen. At that point, we can go ahead and turn off the power. All right, and now she's shut down. That's been it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, this is Dakota with Millspec Liner. Thank you all for being a part of the team. If you ever need anything, feel free to reach out to us on our tech line. Thank you.